Imagine your entire basement flooding because of someone else's mistake and only being offered a fraction now of the cost of the damages. That is not good, but that's what a woman says the city of Cleveland did to her last year, and she's still waiting for them to make it right. Getting nowhere with the city she called the 19 troubleshooters. Our Katie Wilson spent the day digging for answers. She joins us live with what she found out. Katie. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, Tiffany, what a frustrating situation for this woman, especially considering she's 92 years old. She's got so many memories in her basement and she just wants to be reimbursed for what she lost. But she says the very administration she worked to get elected is now ignoring her. They don't care. 92 year old Cleveland resident Maddie Williams is tired of being ignored. She says Cleveland water crews hit her sewer line and flooded her basement back in April of last year, and she wants the proper reimbursement for what she lost. Don't let her age fool you. She remembers every detail of that day. And I looked down there, the water was up to the second, then above the second step. She snapped a few pictures from the day it happened, but here's what it looks like today. Her washer, dryer, freezer, and dozens of her belongings destroyed along with the entire floor and some of the walls of her basement. So she called the city of Cleveland and they offered her $1,500, eventually bumping it up to 2000. I'm not signing that because I can't get nothing with this. William says that doesn't even cover the cost of her washer and dryer. Everything in, in this price here would be to replace what was down there. Mm -hmm. Williams is pointing to this cost estimate from Lowe's for more than $3,000. And to redo her entire basement, more than 26000 a fraction of what she was offered. And to make matters worse, Williams says she volunteered for the very administration she's now fighting. When Bill started running, I was my behind off helping him get in there. So we tried calling his office to get the city side and got nowhere. We left two voice messages and we're finally told someone would, quote, get back with us. A frustrating outcome today, but you can bet the 19 troubleshooters will stay on this until Williams sees some action. We also reached out to Councilman Kevin Bishop, who William says was working with her throughout this. He told me that he called the law director and he asked for a higher reimbursement or at least for them to consider that. He also said he suggested to Williams to get an attorney. Live in Cleveland, Katie Wilson, 19 News. Tiffany. Such a shame, but I know that we'll get some answers, Katie. Thank you so much. Uh, that's how the 19 News troubleshooters gets results and works to help you. We promise to stay on top of it. If you have a problem you want help fixing, call our 19 Troubleshooter tip line. That number is right there on your screen, 216-250-1618.